Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and today I'm going to be talking about series and parallel circuits. Um, this is a, these are a couple of different circuit diagrams. Remember, this stands for a battery, and each of those stand for a resistor. And so this would be a series circuit. Remember, it's a closed circuit, so there's a loop where electricity can flow the whole way around. Um, and then we have three uh, resistors, and so the electricity that goes through this has to go through these as well. Um, if we look at this one, this is one battery connected to three resistors as well, but they're parallel to one another. In other words, there's three loops that that electricity can take, and so we call that a parallel circuit. Now, um, the first time you look at a series in a parallel circuit when it's actually connected, there's some stuff that's not super intuitive. In other words, there's some weird stuff that takes place. But once you really understand what's going on in both a series and a parallel circuit, uh, you'll do much better. And so um, today I want to show you basically uh, a parallel and a series circuit, a few demonstrations, and I'm going to be using the circuit construction kit. This is at phet.colorado.edu, and I would encourage you to go there, play around with it. It's the best way to learn about electricity is to actually play around with it. Okay, so right here we've got two different loops. This one is a, so this would be a battery right here. It's a 9-volt battery. This is an ammeter, which is going to measure the amps. We've then got wires connected to a light bulb, back to a switch, and then back to the battery again. And so this would be a series circuit, because electricity is going to flow in this direction through the battery and then back, uh, through the bulb and then back again. And so when I turn it on, we can see that electrons are flowing, we've got 0.9 amps, and then it's running through uh, a light bulb. And so these rays around the outside of the light bulb show you how much light is being given off from that. And so the first thing I'd like to do, let me turn that off for just a second, so let me open that circuit for a second, is kind of get a sense for how much electricity is coming out, or how much current is flowing through there, and what's, how much light are we getting off of that. And now I'm going to add another light bulb, and I'm going to put it in series. So let me add another light bulb here, and I have to break this, split the junction, and let me connect to both sides of that. And let me move it down so it looks a little better. Okay, so now we've got two light bulbs. We've got the same battery. You kind of remember how much light we were getting at it before, and you remember the speed. And so let's turn this one on now. Okay, so in a series circuit, what we have now is those two bulbs are not as bright. Uh, and the reason why, and if you, if you remember how much speed we were getting, or how much current we were getting, remember it was 0.9 amps. And so in a series circuit, if we add more resistance, we're going to decrease the amount of current. And as a result, we're going to have uh, dimmer light bulbs. And so the, the current is going to be the same through every component in a series circuit. And so the other thing about a series circuit is let me try, um, let me remove this. So let me split the junction. Okay, so when I split the junction there, I cut that wire, and so it wasn't connected anymore, and so both bulbs went out. And so the two things that you should learn, number one, is that in a series circuit, all of them have to be working for current to flow. And the second thing is that they all have the same amount of current. Um, volts is another thing, and so let's add a voltmeter as well. So if we add a voltmeter, this is a 9-volt battery. If I look on either side of the light bulb, we'll find that the volts are 9 volts. If I move this uh, lead over here, this electrode over here, we find that it's 4.5 volts. And then if I shift both of them to this side of that light bulb, it's 4.5 as well. And so the sum of the volt or the voltage drop between the two components in that are going to equal the volts that we have for the whole thing. So it's 9 volts, but then each of those bulbs is going to be a drop of 4.5 volts. So we have 9 volts, and then we have 0 volts when we get to the other side. So let's get rid of that voltmeter. And let me turn this one off. And so let's return that uh, for a second. Um, so get a sense of how much light we're getting from these two uh, light bulbs, and we have 0.45 amps. And now we're going to look down here at a uh, parallel circuit. And so a parallel circuit, there are two parallel pathways. In other words, there's a wire that goes through this bulb and a wire that goes through this bulb. And so when I turn this on, 
there's a clear difference between the two. And the, the first time I saw this, it was totally confusing to me. In other words, these two light bulbs are as bright as that one light bulb was before uh, when it wasn't in series. And so the first thing that should st stand out to you is that these two bulbs are as bright as that one bulb when it was uh, before it was hooked up in series. And so another thing that's happening is that we actually have way more amps moving through this. And so you can see that the electrons are moving more quickly. And so the difference between a series circuit and a parallel circuit is that the current is actually increased. Remember when we had, let's go back and remove this and just connect it together. So remember here we had 0.9 amps for one light bulb. But here we now have 1.8 amps. In other words, the electricity is actually flowing faster. Um, why is that? Well, here there is the current of this thread, and there's the current of this branch, and the two currents together are going to sum up to this, uh, this current. And so before when we were saying the voltage drop in each of those sums up to the voltage of the battery, well in a parallel circuit those two pathways, in other words those two currents, are going to sum up to the current of that whole, um, the whole branch. Another thing that happens in a parallel circuit, let's kind of remove this light bulb, and so remember when I removed a series light bulb, the whole thing went out. But in a parallel circuit, when I remove one of those uh, light bulbs, the other one keeps moving. Now you, could, you should have seen that when I removed that light bulb, the amps drop down to 0.9, um, but an electricity isn't flowing through this side. Um, but by hooking it up this way, we've now um, got electricity or a path for elect electricity to go. When I was a kid I remember we had a string of light bulbs that were hooked up in series and it was the most annoying uh, light bulb strand that you could have for Christmas lights because if you ever had one bulb go out on a series circuit then the whole thing was broken all the way down so you had to search through that um, string of lights until you found the one that was burnt out. Now they use parallel circuits and, and the reason they do that is you don't get um, that drop in current with each bulb and the other thing is that you can have a break in one of the bulbs and the other ones are all going to work. And so that's kind of an introduction to uh, series and parallel circuits. Remember in a series circuit um, the current is going to be the, th the same through every part of that um, loop. Um, but in a parallel circuit, it's going to be the sum of the two will be the sum of the current through the whole uh, of the circuit. And uh, the voltage drop, if we th add our voltmeter, in a parallel circuit, it's going to be the same along each thread. So remember, this would be a 9 volt on this pathway, but it's also going to be a 9 volt on this pathway. Um, and so you're not getting anything for free with a parallel circuit. You're actually going to go through more energy um, using this setup than you would over here because you're actually gathering more amps. Um, so that's parallel and that's series circuit and I hope that's helpful.